Hello everybody, welcome back to Gruesome's Garage. It's been a while since I made a video. Um, it's been a crazy, crazy month. Um, I'm not gonna get into too much of my personal life, but um, unfortunately, I lost my mother uh, recently, and that was kind of tough to take. Just to tell anybody out there, if you still have your parents, make sure you tell them you love them while they're here. Um, luckily, I don't have any regrets. I had a good relationship with my mother, but life is short. Um, then, <laughs> dealing with all that, and I got COVID. And I got over it, and Mrs. Gruesome got COVID. So, it's been a rough month around the garage and in general. But, I wanted to give you a little update on the Firebird. Um, getting back to working on it. And I've got it up in the lift. We're going to go under it quick, and I'm going to show you a couple things I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Here we are underneath the Firebird. Um, actually, what you're seeing here, this car is not in that bad of shape. A lot of what you're seeing here is surface rust. And it's totally able to be dealt with. Now here's something you don't see very often. When's the last time you saw a 1976 with its original catalytic converter still in place? <laughs> My dad bought a brand new Firebird in 1976, and I think within a couple of weeks it already had a test pipe in the knockout for the unleaded gas taken out of the uh, Filmac. <laughs> that was just kind of a common thing to do back then. Um, as you can see, I still had to take the transmission out. Like I said, it just got working on it again. Um, I'm going to take the transmission out, I'm going to pull the gas tank out, and um, clean up some things. I'm going to take the rear end out of it. Um, I want to put different gears in it. This being a base formula with a 352 barrel that came with 241 gears. Yeah, they're going to go. And we'll put something um, probably not too crazy, unless I go with an automatic overdrive transmission, which I haven't decided yet. If I do that, then I might put something a little wilder in there, like 373s. If not, probably a 323 gear in there. Um, I run that in my Mopar. They're good all-around street gear. You can still cruise on the highway, and you still got a little oomph as long as you got the torque for it. Um, get up here. You can see you still got the original Y-pipe. Um... Converter, obviously, if we keep this transmission, we'll probably do a different converter, a shift kit, rebuild it. But, yeah, I just want to give you a little look under here. Show you where we're at. Um, if you haven't already, hit the like and subscribe button. I will try to get more t content coming again. Like I said, it's been a uh, better rough month. And... Uh, just getting back to normal. The weather's nicer now. Um, we do like to camp in the summertime, so that will cut into a little bit of my uh, garage time, but I still gotta get the snowmobile in here and get that up, taken apart and get the restoration started on that. I'll probably do it simultaneously with the Firebird. But that's where we're at. Uh, hope everything is good in your world. Uh, I know things have been crazy out there right now with inflation. The crisis in Ukraine, gas prices, um, just remember, things will get better. They always do. Uh, take care. God bless.